Hi everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how the drive that I did the other day on the motorway for about 17, 18 miles there and back compares in terms of electrical consumption on a bad weather day. So last night I decided to go out and uh, collect some food. Um, it was about a 20 minute drive, it's a long way to get some food, but there are not many options uh, around where I live to get really good quality ribs, uh, beef brisket and pulled pork. So there's this uh, meat smoking trailer that uh, moves around. I decided to go and collect some food from there last night. Weather conditions were really bad. It was um, raining heavily, temperatures about 14 degrees, gusty winds, um, and just about as bad as it kind of gets really when you're driving. Um, so it was nice to try out almost exactly the same drive that I did the other day. Basically from where I live up to near Gatwick Airport and then back home. And uh, in this video, we're gonna see what it was like in terms of consumption and how that compared to the video the day before when the weather was a lot better. So yeah, let's go and uh, let's see what uh, managed to get from last night. weather is terrible and I uh, thought it'd be a good opportunity to do another video about the range and see what we get um, with electrical consumption. So we're halfway there and uh, it's actually not looking that bad. Um, I'm surprised. 33.3 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, 22.6 miles. Uh, 31 minutes, 46 miles per hour. I did precondition, um, made sure everything was warmed up nicely before I left. But yeah, let's see what it's like when we get back on uh, the rest of the journey, about 22 miles back home now.
So hopefully you can see from the video, um, that footage from last night, yeah, it was quite bad driving conditions, really uh, strong winds, rainy, temperature about 14, 15 degrees, so not too cold, but yeah, pretty bad driving conditions. One thing I would say though, driving the Polestar in that kind of weather was fantastic. Great car, so stable on the road. Uh, the pixel LED lights are great and uh, you know the, the automatic windscreen wipers things like that everything works really well and it's a nice safe and comfortable place to be in bad weather so consumption wise how did it pan out compared to the other day well basically it uh, used about 10% more um, th that's that's it so if we look at the numbers Average driving was 47 miles per hour, so it was three miles an hour slower than the uh, than the other test in good weather. And we came up with 37.5 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, which is pretty much 10% less than the uh, roughly 33 to 34 that we got from the other day in good weather. So yeah, it's an interesting comparison to see that pretty much the same temperature, almost exactly the same drive, um, although with slightly slower average speed, worked out as a, a worse consumption on electricity. And uh, that makes sense really, I guess, more water resistance on the road uh, is going to increase the amount of electricity you're gonna need to power that journey. Uh, worked out about 10% uh, worse. But still, 37.5, if we work that out quickly, let me just grab my calculator. Uh, 37.5, is approximately 208 miles of total range if you were able to use the entire battery. Now, if you look on the Polestar website, the calculator, if you can get to it, find it buried in the menus, will give you some information uh, on it on their predicted range. And to be honest, it's pretty close to that. I think it's something like 210. So yeah, I can't really complain about that. Uh, that's that's what Polestar I reckon you would get on uh, motorway kind of tr traveling in poor weather. Okay, it wasn't entirely on the motorway. Average speed was 50 miles an hour, 47. But uh, yeah, it's just interesting to see that in the real world and what kind of numbers we come up with. Hope this video was useful. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that kind of thing. And I'll be back again with another one very soon. Thank you.